brothers welcome back to territorial.io we are starting off today here in a team's battle in the world obviously gonna have some fun today 93 players in this one we picked a nice little spot for us in south america we do have a buddy above us that black player to the right of us did leave and has been replaced with a red player so we do also have a magenta bro and another white player down below us we'll see what we could do also another person on the black team did join as well so we'll see what we can do. Let's start with our standard opening. I still think we have a really good spot for most people in uh, South America. And I think I said Africa earlier. But anyway, South America. Uh, we have Satman above us. He's our teammate. We have Peru over to the left of us and 876... 867 to the right of us words are tough you know this <laughs> but uh i think the biggest challenge we're gonna face here is just our own team's bots in the way of things but other than that we have a very strong start a lot of room still to get uh our goal is to kind of cut 87 off 867 off from uh, being able to expand looks like he's gonna run into the same problem that we potentially will with his own bots being in the way they already are blocking him off from a number of key bots and unfortunately our bots cut us off over there so we're gonna really need to push down south so let's get through this bot down here and just keep pushing i i really want to try and get around my bots to get down south as much as possible and we can save the bots the red bots to our right for later unfortunately our bot maya on our team is not cooperating and uh, we'll get this bot this bot and this bot wonderful okay so we are temporarily cut off but i do believe the bots uh, below us are going to start winning the battle against our bots if not we're just going to be patient with it building up our troops is never a bad thing especially when 867 is right next to us but there we are free from our cage we're able to get through this peru does become a bot himself very unfortunate for us immediately attacks us and there is another bot below us oh this is a pickle this is a situation you never want to be in. It's getting attacked early by bots while someone who is not in, at all engaged in this is going to be around. Now, this white player down below is also not moving, so that's a little bit scary. Fortunately for us, we do have a teammate who is helping out take out Peru. And player 867 does give us a truce. Looks like he's boating over into Africa. So we'll give a little help into peru try and take down this bot below us before he becomes a problem himself there the uh, player on the black team down below is also helping out with this red bot which is gonna be good for us because he's pretty low on troops little does he know he's offering the truce but i have no interest in getting that truce i'd much rather go into him fortunately for us player 867 has no designs on south america by the looks of it as we do get the crown as he's boated over yes he is over there in africa at the top of the screen we'll get this guy off our little island over here or our continent so he doesn't bother us and we'll push into radzik just to get him out of the way before he becomes a problem as well and we will regain the crown doing this so we are nice and big we do have a teammate below as well so things are looking good for us the scion team is in control of its destiny we are just a little bit low on troops and that's what we really need to be focusing on Satman above looks like he's getting slightly bullied but he does have a little bit more troops than the player above or the player above him so we'll just wait for that we'll just sit back building up our troops we do have a guy coming over with a boat i'm going to say no i see the boat you could go ahead and cancel it you don't have as many troops as me and that's gonna be a big mistake for you if you come over here so we'll just continue to keep waiting over here waiting for a good opportunity to arise as i would love to go down south i don't really want to go into eat full sins right now as we'll just wait to repel this boat and then you know what let's send a boat of our own that'll be nice that'll be good and Sama over here has still not attacked us, so we're just going to leave him alone for a little bit. No need to waste so many troops fighting down 72,000. And let's send another boat for measure just to make sure that that one gets there. We need to get over into Africa. The red player is already there. Uh, yeah, that guy's not attacking us. That's nobody. Okay. So we'll just continue to wait, building up our troops until we get to Africa. Uh, our buddy above us is fighting a noble battle, and all those players are pretty scattered. So I'm actually going to give him a little bit of a donation to keep him strong. So that he has a real chance of knocking down the North America players as I start to really pivot into Africa. Player 867 is over in Africa like we discussed earlier. He has about 2.5 million troops, so pretty similar to us. I have no designs on attacking him right away, but the red team is really starting to run away with it. Uh, the player down below us, uh, I eat full sins, is not attacking anybody, but the red team is kind of pushing through. Fortunately for us, we do have a few teammates that can kind of hold the line a little bit as we do approach red interest. We are about 0.6% interest, so as soon as we attack, we're going to make sure to not get kicked off. And if we do, we'll have the second boat right there behind it. As we do not, we have too many troops for him to slow down. It looks like he mass donated all of his troops elsewhere. So... Now we're kind of in a little bit of pickle. We have the uh, player on the white team and the player on the black team kind of on our borders. And we have this guy who's now a bot. So we'll go ahead and take care of him, clean up our borders, get rid of that blemish. And our buddy above us is doing pretty well. He's got a good amount of troops. So I'm going to kind of ignore him. I'm going to definitely take that truce. That's a very good truce, especially now that the red team is in kind of in, in charge of things. I did ask player 867 to also attack as well, as this is the person I'm going to go into. I think this is the best chance we have for victory. 
is pushing down this guy. I don't really want to go into PL already because he is going to be a little bit of a buffer between us and the red team. The red team is becoming very strong and that is super concerning. So what my plan is here is if that uh, alliance with PL already holds is to take out this uh, player above us, this uh, player on the black team, and then potentially betray 867 getting ready for the onslaught of the red team because look at them. They hold a quarter of the board. Very dangerous for us as we do get voted into by the player we are attacking. So we'll just keep pushing into him, trying to be very gentle with it. Our buddy above us is still doing fine. We'll keep an eye on him just to make sure that he's able to complete the mission. If we need more troops, we might be able to give him some, but honestly, we need a lot of our troops for ourselves in this battle. As uh, the guy we're attacking has about 2 million troops left, so we're almost done halfway there. He's got 2.6 million. We'll keep pushing up. I imagine player 867 is going to join in at any moment or we're going to get full sent. No, nope, he's donated all of his troops away. So there we go. We get through that. That's very helpful for us. As now we're sitting at about 5 million troops. We do not have the crown. That is I am Groot. But our buddy Satman is taking out a bot above us. That is another amazing move. Our buddy below us did die. Oh no. How about uh, you want a truce? We're kind of in the same boat. We really need to focus in on the red team. As they are becoming very, very strong. And I don't really want to attack 867. Just because how strong he is. But I think that is going to be a necessity at this point. We do have a little bit of a troop advantage over him. So when we... I think this is the time we just got to push into him. We just, oh, he, he lost a lot of troops there. I don't know what he did. Oh, he's boated up into the United Kingdom. He's trying to keep the, the purple team off his back. Well, that's perfect timing for us as we're going to be really able to take advantage of the situation. Just continuously pushing down 867, being very sure to not overextend ourselves, making sure we stay in the red interest, but also trying to get this guy down as fast, fast as possible. Because now the red team is attacking PL already, and now we are in a race against time. We have to get 867 down prior to touching borders with the rest of the red team. Otherwise, this game is done. We are absolutely finished. Fortunately for us, some players on the Magenta team are pushing back. Looks like Groot, uh, the guy who has the crown now, is also pushing into him, which is really good. He does still have 4 million troops, so he's far from a pushover. But uh, this is going to get real ugly real fast. I'm not going to attack Megawatt or Artie. I'm going to hope that they both full send the red team, who probably will attack them first because they do have numbers. In fact, I see a boat coming over from Boulder who's going into the white player. That's going to be a 2v1 for him, and that's going to be a really tough thing to overcome. We're just going to keep an eye on his troops to make sure that we don't miss a full send opportunity. As PFJ is rather strong, he's not having to fight someone like we are. We definitely will take that truce with Groot. Oh, we need each other. We need each other in a bad way. Oh, PL already full sends. Let's grab all the land. Thank you, PL. And now, Megawati, it's your turn to kind of be the, the sacrificial lamb, if you will. There's not a lot that's going to be able to you're going to be able to do as you're facing a 2v1. Fortunately for us, Groot is taking care of Met Metal Franken. I, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but the red player on the very top, just preventing another player. 867 does full donate and we get all of his land, but Megawati is down for the count. We need to ha have a little bit of time to build up our borders. Fortunately, I eat full sins is also getting attacked by the player in Australia. So that is a good thing for us. That means he's going to be distracted and not looking to boat up north. Let's go ahead and grab Madagascar. Take out the rest of this little land here. And now we are at red interest. This guy's at 2 million troops. We're going to need to attack soon. Uh, darn it. I was hoping I could get a boat over there. Let's go ahead and take him down. He's down to 800,000. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, there's nothing I could do in this situation. I know you're upset. But we are able to, What my goal is right now is I desperately need to push off this Balder player. So that when I get to PFJ, I'm not fighting a 2v1. And if I get to PFJ, then I can have that isolated 1v1 and really start to put the pressure on, on him. As we do take recontrol of the crown, we have it very strongly with 138,000 pixels. I am Groot's in second place with 80,000. So basically, this is like, oh, shoot. Okay, I missed down here. Let's go ahead and try and grab as much of this land as we can. Uh, kick this guy off again. He looks like he has this little island right here that we're going to need to take out. PFJ does full send us. Oof. That's incredibly painful. He had almost all of his troops. We'll try and get some of this land back for ourselves as Groot does boat into us. That was not a mistake. I'm telling Satman to attack him. But like, hey, buddy, this guy's no longer on our side. Just FYI, as we are getting heavily, heavily attacked by Groot. Fortunately for us, he doesn't have so many more troops than us. And we still have a lot of opportunity as we get full sent again. The whole world wants us to lose. Oh, man. Now, what is Android user 186 going to do? He's very strong. We did land a boat on there, unfortunately, but he goes straight into Groot, which is perfect for me. Oh, oh, that's huge for us because we're going to be able to get most of this land. And no matter what Android user does at this point, he's not going to be able to stop us. 
He has a little bit more troops than us, but we have so much more landmass that we can sit back, tank these attacks. Oh, Satman, you played so well. Thank you for your efforts. That was fantastic. Now we have more troops than Android user 186. We'll build up our troops a little bit more for the advantage so we can go ahead and speed through this. But Satman, you are the legend. You are such a legend. I'm so happy I invested in you early so that you could go forth and conquer North America. If it wasn't for him, this game might not turn out the way it did. We were so low on troops at the end there just from eating two full sins in a row. My goodness, the whole red team. I think they were all banking on Android user getting strong enough to be able to take me out and have him facing weakened enemies, but that was not the case as we were able to hold the line a little bit. Android user picking, I would say, the wrong target, but there really wasn't a right target as he does leave and becomes a bot. So we'll be aggressive in taking him out. We'll go ahead and speed through the rest of this. Just continuously attacking Android user 186. Hey, he's down to 8 million troops. We've got 12. I do want to be aggressive, but this is still, he does still have a lot of land. He's getting a lot of that interest back, but we'll go ahead and continue to take him down. We do have that boat down in Antarctica to continuously fight down there as well. As he does have about 2 million troops left. I do need to kind of slow my roll a little bit. I'm being very aggressive here. Satman's giving me a lot of troops. I support you, Satman. He's looking to get out of this game. So we have about 10 million troops left. Let's go ahead and push through. That'll be the end of Android user. And we'll just go ahead and grab the rest of these little islands along the way to get to 99% as we fought a game. And we'll go ahead and get this as well. And this. And ooh, who's attacking? Oh, it's a guy. Hey, buddy. Wow, I can't believe you survived this long. Here, have some, have some money. You deserve Australia just for staying around this long. I'm going to keep feeding you money as much as possible. I'll grab some islands along the way. Keep feeding him money as much as possible so he can go ahead and take out Australia. Have the little victory himself. This is, after all, a team game, and he played well to get to this point. Uh, they really had to fend off a hornet's nest on the red team over there. So as we start to wrap things up, I just want to say GG's to all involved. And thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made this far in the episode. If you have made this far in the episode, hey, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys... I will see you. Let's give it a little strong. Hold on. We got to wait for the... We got to wait. We're not quite at 99. There we go. I'll see you in the next one.